Slow, scared, tense, frustrated, frustrated enough to punch holes in things. Dyslexia is humbling, patience, trust, gratitude, never taking dancing for granted. Learning steps, picking up dance sequences, never any easier. Not a naturally gifted dancer, gawky and awkward. Struggling to learn the steps, losing all grace and dexterity, having a frustrated, alien feeling body, gawky and awkward. Dyslexia in itself, nine times out of ten, is created and caused by cranial bone malfunction. Sphenoid bone in itself is the bone of learning. And if that bone is out of position, it will affect your ability to learn and absorb information. Nine out of ten children with dyslexia will have the sphenoid bone tilted high left or high right and in severe situations, it's locked completely and it doesn't move.
We're not integrated, left and right brain working together. Is what actually the body needs to, to produce about 40 to 50% of its energy just to make the left and right brain integrated correctly. So here lies the conundrum. a massive amount of energy. Think of, you've got to reduce 50% of your energy. The light brain is not integrated. The body has to start using other processes to just start interpreting information. Now, non-acceptance of dyslexia, certainly in the 60s, 70s and 80s, you know, it wasn't accepted. There's a lot of emotional issues. She's watching, and it all makes sense. She knows exactly what to do. She goes to start, and can't remember how it begins. She can't remember any of it. Her brain suddenly empties. All that is left is an empty space. Probably somewhere in this performance it'll happen. The empty space will appear and she'll forget all the steps and she'll start making it up until she can find her way back into the choreography. She'll start making up the steps. Perhaps it's happening right now.
place in my brain. This hall of mirrors where images endlessly collide with each other, loud and screeching and fierce. A car crash of overloaded information that hurts my brain. Here I am in my dancer's body. I feel my body's humbleness and its passion, its racehorse perfection and impatience and sensitivity. I am its caretaker. I am my horse body's guardian, here to listen in this studio to get out of my horse body's way and let it run wild and free and fierce. To do what it does, to do what it loves. When you're looking at me, do you see me? Do you see my vulnerability, my shyness, my courage, my fear, my fallibility, my terror, all the energy it takes to just show up? When you're looking at me, what do you see? Do you see the struggle or the technique? Do you see my clumsiness or my grace? I'm hoping you see both. I'm balancing on this high wire between virtuosity and my dumb, blank mind. Between my failings and my extraordinariness. I want to be seen but not be judged. I want to be desired, but not be possessed. I want to be loved, not feared. And my hunger propels me forward, and I try and use my gut as a compass. 
I'm falling through the murky darkness and I need to find home. Do you see that when you're looking at me? Do you see all that? I'm trying to show up with my best self, not get swallowed up in my fear. I'm trying to dance big, to keep falling through space, keep reaching out for that sensed grace, keep trying to refine that perfection that was so easy the first time. That place where I'm falling and falling in perfect grace, where every movement makes perfect sense, where my dance and your gaze are in perfect serendipity. I'm trying to find grace.